I'm Dr. Louise Marriott, a Baxter Fellow and UKRI Future Leaders Fellow with the School of Health Sciences. The world is facing an opioid epidemic. According to our research, in Scotland alone over the past decade, approximately 6,500 children have been exposed to opioids during pregnancy. For women who use opioids, such as heroin, when they become pregnant, they're usually encouraged to stabilise on medication-assisted treatment, such as methadone or buprenorphine. However, we have little understanding of the long-term impact of these substances on the unborn child. Tracking these children over time is challenging. Many grow up in complex family situations, often not with their birth parents. What we do know is that these children have poorer outcomes in the early years. For example, they are more likely to be born very early, to experience problems with their eyes and to die in infancy. Many of these children also live in poverty and other challenging circumstances, which has a further impact on their development. My research focuses on this disentangling of the impact of exposure to opioids from the influences of the environment in which children are growing up in. In Scotland, we have a unique way to follow these children's life paths using routinely collected data from hospital, health visitor and education records. Every person has a unique identifier, which allows us to link together all of these records that we hold. We can also link mother's records with their baby's records. By accessing de-identified data in the National Safe Haven, researchers can safely and securely track and follow up on these children as long as they continue to live in Scotland, ensuring we never know whose data we are seeing. This allows us to answer questions such as which medication given to mothers in pregnancy results in better outcomes for children? What's the best treatment for children diagnosed with neonatal abstinence syndrome after birth in terms of their long-term development? And how can we better support these children to help them reach their full potential? If we understand these factors, we can make healthcare better and help babies who are born into tough situations, which will make society healthier overall. Our work goes beyond just academia, trying to make a real difference to communities dealing with the opioid crisis.